Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and this is another video in the series What's That Guitar? Taking a look and a listen to the various guitars in my collection, ones you'll see hanging up on the wall in the studio here and see me using on YouTube videos. Today, kind of bringing it up to date because this is the most recent addition to the family. Uh, this one I got, when was it? it was about September, October time last year. It's this Faith Mercury Classic Burst Acoustic. Now, when you first look at it, it might seem a slightly odd guitar, like it's a little bit out of proportion. Basically, this is a parlor guitar. Um, parlor guitar is, as the name suggests, it was a guitar that historically was intended to be played in the parlor. So, like, you know, way, way, way back in the day, uh, it would be quite common for, you know, after dinner, the gentlemen of the house would, they'd, they'd all retire to the drawing room, you know, brandy, cigars, discussion, and the ladies of the house would go to the parlour, if you like, the living room, the front room, and they would, you know, have like entertainment and playing guitar was quite common, and the parlour guitar is sort of like the, the living room guitar, if you like. It's smaller body because it's not intended necessarily to be played in like a, a concert setting. You know, back in the day, you needed a big acoustic guitar, you know, big body because we didn't have microphones, we didn't have PA systems, the guitar had to amplify itself. For something that's just being played around the house, as long as we've got something that's like kind of loud enough to be heard, it's plenty loud enough, so a smaller body. And also, it, it, was, like I say, it was also kind of intended to be played by like the ladies of the house who are kind of smaller physique, so it was, it was kind of more suited to them. Anyway, that's the history lesson. Onto this guitar. And the purpose this guitar kind of fulfills for me was, yeah, it's like the living room guitar. You, you don't see it up in the studio quite so much because generally it's it's in my, my living room at home being played. Uh, you know, so I'm just sitting on the sofa wanting to noodle around on the guitar. It's a lovely guitar to play and because it's a, a parlor guitar, it's a little bit smaller. It's more suited to me as being someone who's generally used to playing an electric guitar with that smaller body. You know, I've got that Turner 32CE, like grand concert size. It's not uncomfortable to play, but after an electric guitar, it's, it, you know, it feels kind of cumbersome reaching over the big body. This one, smaller body, is a little bit more comfortable to play for me. And it's a slightly shorter scale length than you would get on a on a, on a regular uh, guitar. Everything's kind of kind of shrunk down a little bit, but it's still kind of long enough a scale length from the you know the scale length from the nut to the the saddles. It's still kind of um, long enough that it feels if you like like a proper full size guitar. Construction wise, it's mahogany back and sides and a cedar top, which so finished with this nice sort of sunburst effect and quite a high gloss lacquer, which means it's really tr tricky to uh, get on the camera like this without getting loads of reflection, but there you go. Um, mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard, and some nice some nice little touches on it, like the, the tuner buttons, they're Grover tuners with ebony buttons on them. It's an ebony fingerboard, it's got ebony binding as well, so, you think, well, what's the point in doing binding with the same as the wood? You, you can't see it so much. Yeah, but it, it hides the fret ends. It's, it's quite quite a nice little touch. A little bit of pearl on the um, on the sound hole. Really nice uh, rosewood and ebony binding around the body, front and back. It's it, it's really nicely put together guitar. It's, it feels like a good quality instrument. It comes in a very nice case, which also is, is, it feels like pretty good quality. So like I say, having a slightly smaller body, it's a little bit quieter, but still still plenty loud enough. The body itself is a little bit deeper, uh, perhaps, than you might expect on a regular guitar, which is why I say when you first look at it, it seems kind of a little bit out of proportion. But this, the tone from it is, for all it's a, quite a small package, it's like I say, plenty loud enough and a very, very nice tone on it. And as well as sounding good for just finger picking, it sounds equally good with a plectrum. Yeah, so great sounding guitar. You might have noticed there's a 
jack socket here, got a cable plugged in. It's because this is actually an electroacoustic. Just inside the sound hole here, there's a little volume control and a little tone control for a Fishman uh, under saddle pickup. So what you're hearing now is basically the sound of the guitar in the room, but I've also got, got it plugged into a little amplifier. <laughs> So it's it's a giggable guitar if you if you want or the sort of the, the way I use it in the in the studio here is just to add a bit of reverb or you know some compression chorus or whatever it like affects into the into the sound as well and have a, a blend of the, the the acoustic sound in the room and the sound from the amplifier. So what's that guitar today? The Faith Mercury Classic Burst Parlor Acoustic Guitar. Now, I think that actually brings us to the end of uh, that, what's that guitar. I think I've covered everything that's currently in the collection. Not to say there won't be other guitars coming into the studio in future, so this probably won't be the last ever episode of What's That Guitar, just the last one for now. Hope you found it interesting. If you did enjoy the video, please click like down there. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see other things that are posted on the channel, then please click subscribe, which is also down there. You're welcome to leave a comment, but I don't always see comments that are left on videos. So if you've got a specific question that you want to ask me, whether it's about guitars, uh, guitar equipment, guitar playing, music theory, anything at all. If you go here, there's a form you can fill in, send your question in, and that way I'm guaranteed to see it and I can get around to answering your question in a future video. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.